Clark University is an American private university and liberal arts college in Worcester, Massachusetts. Founded in 1887, it is the oldest educational institution founded as an all-graduate university in the United States. Clark now also educates undergraduates. The U.S. News & World Report ranked Clark 75th nationally in both 2015 and 2014, 83rd in 2013, and 95th in 2012. In 2013, Forbes ranked Clark University number 51 in research. The acceptance rate of the undergraduate class in 2014 was 54%. It is best known for being the birthplace of rocket propulsion. Clark is one of 40 schools profiled in the book Colleges That Change Lives by Lauren Pope. Those who attend Clark University are colloquially called Clarkies. History Founding an early history on January 17, 1887, successful American businessman Jonas Gilman Clark announced his intention to found an endow a university in the city of Worcester, filing a petition in the Massachusetts legislature requesting a charter for Clark University. An act of incorporation was duly enacted by the legislature and signed by the governor on March 31 of that same year. Clark, who was a friend of Leland Stanford, was probably inspired by the plans for Stanford University and founded the university with an endowment of $1 million, and later added another million dollars because he feared the university might someday face a lack of funds. Opening on October 2, 1889, Clark was the first all-graduate university in the United States, with departments in mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and psychology. G. Stanley Hall was appointed the first president of Clark University in 1888. He had been a professor of psychology and pedagogy at Johns Hopkins University, which had been founded just a few years prior and was quickly becoming a model of the modern research university. Hall spent seven months in Europe visiting other universities and recruiting faculty. He became the founder of the American Psychological Association and earned the first Ph.D. in psychology in the United States at Harvard. Clark has played a prominent role in the development of psychology as a distinguished discipline in the United States ever since. Franz Boas, founder of American Cultural Anthropology and advisor for the first Ph.D. in Anthropology, taught at Clark from 1888 until 1892 when he resigned in a dispute with President Hall over academic freedom and joined the faculty of Columbia University. Albert A. Michelson, the first American to receive a Nobel Prize in Physics, best known for his involvement in the Michelson-Morley experiment, which measured the speed of light, was a professor from 1889 to 1892 before becoming head of the physics department at the University of Chicago. Jonas G. Clark died in 1900, leaving gifts to the university and campus library but reserving half of his estate for the foundation of an undergraduate college. This had been strongly opposed by President Hall in years past but Clark College opened in 1902, managed independently of Clark University. Clark College and Clark University had different presidents until Hall's retirement in 1920. Clark University began admitting women after Clark's death, and the first female Ph.D. in psychology was awarded in 1908. Early Ph.D. students in psychology were ethnically diverse, with several early graduates being Japanese. In 1920, Frances Sumner became the first African American to earn a Ph.D. in psychology. Clark University, along with Stanford and Johns Hopkins, was one of the 14 founding members of the Association of American Universities, an organization of universities with the most prestigious profiles in research and graduate education, and was one of only three New England universities, along with Harvard and Yale, to be a founding member.
Clark withdrew its membership in 1999, citing a conflict with its mission. It is one of only four schools to do so. Clark lectures in order to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Clark's opening. President Hall invited a number of leading thinkers to the university. Among them was Sigmund Freud who, accompanied by Carl Jung, delivered his five famous Clark lectures there over the course of five days in September 1909, introducing psychoanalysis to an American audience. This was Freud's only set of lectures in the United States. Clark celebrated the centennial of the visit in October 2009 and there is a seated sculpture of Freud by Robert Shaw just outside the university center. Students pose with it and dress it up for various holidays and university occasions such as graduation. Later history in the 1920s Robert Goddard, a pioneer of rocketry, considered one of the founders of space and missile technology served as a professor and chairman of the physics department. On November 23, 1929, noted aviator Charles Lindbergh visited campus and met with Goddard in the physics building, the Robert H. Goddard Library, a distinctive modern building in the brutalist style by architect John M. Johansson, was completed in 1969. In 1963, student Army Bailey invited Malcolm X to campus to speak. He delivered a speech in Atwood Hall. On March 15, 1968, the Jimi Hendrix Experience performed at Clark University as part of the band's American tour in support of Axis. Boulder's love, the experience played in the Atwood Hall, which could accommodate more than 600 students. Tickets for the concerts, which sold out, were modestly priced, with seats priced at $3, $3.50, and $4. The show was professionally recorded and live at Clark University. A posthumous live album was released in 1999 by Dagger Records. In 1997, Clark announced the first Ph.D. program in Holocaust Studies in the United States. Recent developments The Mosaic of Sea Institute for Public Enterprise was established in fall 2007 thanks to a generous founding gift from two Clark alumni, William, 76, and Jane, 75 Mosaikovsky, U.S. Secretary of State and former Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton spoke at Clark University on February 4, 2008, to an audience of approximately 3,500 in the Neller Athletic Center. In March 2009, Clark University convened a first-of-its-kind national conference on liberal education and effective practice. Co-sponsored by Clark's Mosakowski Institute for Public Enterprise and the Association of American Colleges and Universities, in April 2009, then-President John Bassett denied Clark University Students for Palestinian Rights, a student group to bring Norman Finkelstein to speak about the Gaza massacre because Finkelstein would invite controversy and not dialogue or understanding. He also cited a conflict in scheduling regarding a conference on Holocaust and genocide studies presented by the university in the same month. However, following protests, which included a public protest in the center of campus, a petition campaign and outreach by alumni, students and faculty, Bassett reversed his decision and allowed Finkelstein to speak April 27, the last day of classes for the semester. Finkelstein spoke to around 400 students, faculty and community members in Atwood Hall. In April 2010, Clark University received the largest gift in its 123-year history, a $14.2 million offering from the late head of Hanover Insurance, one of the nation's biggest property and casualty insurers. The gift from John Adam is intended to strengthen Clark's graduate programs in education, promote college readiness among minority students and bolster its research profile related to urban education. This donation created the Adams Education Fund, which will enhance Clark's nationally recognized model for urban secondary education and reform, teacher training, and community education partnerships. 
On July 1, 2010, former provost David Angel became the ninth president of Clark succeeding John Bassett, who went on to be president of Heritage University located on the Yakama Indian Reservation in Toppenish, Washington. Clark University has an ongoing renovation project that will cover several buildings. In the summer of 2010, overhauls occurred in Bullock and Wright Hall dormitories. Noam Chomsky spoke at Clark University on the topic of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the Arab Spring April 12, 2011, in Atwood Hall. The visit was unprecedented not only for Chomsky's notoriety, but also because this was the first ever lecture given on a spree day at Clark. In summer 2012 Clark University underwent more renovations. The city of Worcester allowed the university to close Downing Street to unite the campus. The area was landscaped to become a pedestrian plaza. Johnson and Sanford Halls were united to become the Johnson Sanford Center featuring new social, study, and multimedia spaces. The project included addition of an outdoor roof terrace and an elevator to all levels. The university has recently begun a project called Leap to Connect Students and the World of Academia to Practical Experience. On October 16, 2014, President Bill Clinton spoke in Atwood Hall as a supporter of Martha Coakley's run for governor of Massachusetts. While he was originally to be one of the first speakers, heavy rain that day delayed his flight. As a result he was in fact the last person to speak at the event. Tickets for the event could be booked for free on Clark's website, and they were completely booked within hours. Campus The campus is located on Main Street in the Main South neighborhood about 2 miles west of downtown Worcester and 40 miles west of Boston. The campus is compact, with most of the major buildings located within the space of a single city block. Jonas Clark Hall, built in 1887, occupies the center of campus and houses the economics, psychology and education departments. Located in the basement of Jonas Clark Hall is the university's cogeneration plant which allows the university to recycle waste to heat from electrical generation into hot water, heat, and steam. It was updated in 2013 to a more efficient 2.0 kWh natural gas engine. The Lazary Center for Bioscience houses the biology department. It received a LEED Gold certification for its energy efficiency. The Jefferson Academic Center houses various social science departments including women's studies, geography, history, geographical information sciences, political science and sociology. Atwood Hall, attached to the Jefferson Academic Center, is the primary theater on campus and seats 658. Atwood Hall originally served as the chapel for the university. The Little Center is the alternate performing arts venue, with its largest room, the Michelson Theater seating 120. The Academic Commons, also known as the AC, acts as a study area and lounge for the students, and incorporates a Sodexo coffee house named Jasmine's a quiet study area, a computer room, and the Mosakowski Institute for Public Enterprises. The Goddard Library is upstairs from the Academic Commons and houses more than 375,000 volumes. The Nella Athletic Center houses the basketball courts, swimming pool, racquetball courts, handball courts, and the Bigman Fitness Center which was completely renovated in 2013. Major campus events, such as International Gala, the Fall Concert, and First Year Orientation are usually held in the Nella as the basketball courts are the largest rooms on campus and can accommodate the entire student body. The Stabrook Hall, located on Woodland Street, is the second oldest building on Clark's campus. It was constructed as dormitories, it now functions as the language center and the music center. The top three floors are dedicated to languages including Spanish, French, German, Latin, and Hebrew, while the bottom floor and basement are practice rooms and music halls. The center of campus is known as the Green. The Green is a hub for student activity, and is where most Clarkies spend their time during the warm months.
It is the location of Spree Day, the Welcome Back Barbecue, several clubs, events and graduation. The buildings surrounding the green include Atwood Hall, Jefferson Academic Center, Higgins University Center, Jonas Clark Hall, and the Goddard Library. Administrative offices are housed in small buildings along Woodland Street, as is the President's House. Students entering Clark must live on campus for the first two years unless their primary address is within 25 miles of campus. The residence halls at Clark are organized by those who live there. The halls include the following breakdowns. First year experience halls. Mixed class halls. Single sex hall. Suite style and apartment style halls. Clark owns apartments that, while outside of the main campus area, exclusively house Clark students. The first Clark residence halls opened in 1959. Before that time, a Stabrook Hall was the men's dormitory and small women's dorms stood in the current location of Little Center and Bullock Hall. Blackstone, the newest of the halls, opened in 2007. As of fall 2007, gender-blind neutral housing is an option at Clark, meaning that students of different genders can room together. Clark University released its Climate Action Plan December 15, 2009, detailing strategies for the university to reduce its carbon footprint while strengthening many of its existing sustainability practices. The plan sets two goals with respect to climate neutrality. First is an interim goal of reducing emissions to 20% below 2005 levels by 2015. The second goal is to achieve climate neutrality by the year 2030. Academics Clark offers 32 undergraduate majors. It offers 57 study abroad and away programs in 34 different countries. Clark has 197 full-time faculty, representing a 10 to 1 student-faculty ratio. 96% of Clark's faculty have doctoral or terminal degrees. In recent years, Clark has been noted especially for its geography and psychology departments, with the latter having a distinctive humanistic orientation. The School of Geography was founded by then-President Wallace Walter Atwood in 1921, and is the first institution in the United States established for graduate study in this science. It has granted more doctoral degrees than any other geography program in the country. The Geography Department is best known for its strength in human environment geography and for the development of the IDRISI Geographic Information Systems Software, named for the famous 12th century explorer and cartographer Muhammad al Idrisi by Professor Ron Eastman. It was ranked number one for undergraduate geography by RUG's recommendations on colleges and has consistently been ranked in the top 10 in the nation by other publications. The Geography Department also offers a graduate level degree in GIS as part of the fifth year free program. The department's mission is ambitious to educate undergraduate and graduate students to be imaginative and contributing citizens of the world and to advance the frontiers of knowledge and understanding through rigorous scholarship and creative effort. In recent years, Clark has received widespread media coverage for its fifth-year free program, and the Clark Spa MA Pra program with the fifth-year free undergraduates who maintain a B-plus average are eligible for tuition-free enrollment in its one-year graduate programs meaning that they can get a Master of Arts degree for the price of a bachelor's degree. Students apply to master's degree programs in their junior year, begin meeting requirements in their senior year and typically complete those requirements in the fifth year. Bachelor's degrees are granted en route to the master's degree.